when this election started, I thought it would be mostly about abortion or maybe immigration, but things took a weird turn this week, and now it seems like the most dominant issue is Indians. Uh, <laughs> as you all know, Vice President Kamala Harris is of Indian and Jamaican descent, and who better to understand the nuance of being mixed race than this guy? Former President Donald Trump now facing backlash after questioning Vice President Kamala Harris's racial identity during the National Association of Black Journalists annual convention. She was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn and she went, she became a black person. Just after the event, the former president posted a video on his social media where Harris called herself Indian in a cooking video with comedian Mindy Kaling. Okay, so what we're going to cook today okay. is well, an Indian recipe. Yes. Because... Yes. You are Indian. Yes. yes. But actually, we're both South Indian. Yes. Um, you look like the entire ha one half of my family. Damn, I forgot how weird the office got after Michael Scott left. Um, <laughs> so, Trump posted this video, but I'm like, how did he even find this? Was he doing deep oppo research on Mindy Kaling's Instagram page? Like, how far down the Mindy rabbit hole did he go? Is he gonna come out next week like, Kamala Harris is not black and Mindy and BJ Novak belong together, okay? <laughs> Do the right thing, BJ. Make an honest Indian out of her. <laughs> and also, this doesn't even prove his point. He's saying that Kamala identified as Indian and not black, and this is a video of her saying, I'm half Indian. <laughs> like, what does Trump think the other half is? Woman? She's half Indian and half woman. That's one, uh, that's one thing. <laughs> How does this guy not understand what half means? Like, he constantly tells us he's a genius, but he can't comprehend a golden doodle? <laughs> Also, by the way, Trump doesn't get to decide how black a black person is. Only Kendrick Lamar can do that, okay? So, <laughs> Kendrick, weigh in here. Meanwhile, the Trump campaign has Indian problems of its own. J.D. Vance has been getting attacked by white supremacists because his wife is Indian. And if you're thinking, wow, if someone insulted my wife, I'd go ape shit on them, then you are not J.D. Vance. Look, I, I love my wife so much. I love her because she's who she is. Obviously, she's not a white person, and we've been acute, attacked by some white supremacists over that. But I, I just, I love Usha. I, she's such a good mom. Yeah, wow. Way to casually defend your wife against white supremacists, JD. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a romance expert, but I don't think anyone wants to hear, um, she's not white, but I love her, right? That's, <laughs> that's not a message you're gonna see on those Valentine's Day candies. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look, I mean, I hope those won his wedding vows, like, Look, you're obviously not white, but I do. <laughs> uh, enough about Indians, let's move on. Because while J.D. Vance is doing J.D. Vance stuff, Kamala still needs to announce her running mate. We now know we are just days away from finding out who Kamala Harris's running mate will be. Harris now moving at warp speed. Her campaign just over a week old, but she's already expected to announce her running mate in the coming days. The two will then hit the road together, visiting several key battleground states, starting with a rally in Philadelphia on Tuesday. Madam Vice President, have you chosen your VP yet? Have you chosen yet? Wow. What a change! The Democratic nominee for president walked up a flight of stairs while talking <laughs> with a head turn. She turned her head while walking. And none of us were covering our eyes and clenching our assholes. I mean, <laughs> compared to Biden, she's like Simone Biles up there. <laughs> Kamala is expected to pick a running mate any day now, and according to reports, it's come down to about five finalists who all bring different strengths to the table. You've got Pete Buttigieg, who, oh, the only man in America who goes viral on Fox News for non-racist reasons. Um, <laughs> there's also Andy Bashir. He's the popular governor of Kentucky and the first person with his accent to ever say the phrase trans rights. You've also got <laughs> Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz. Uh, he's actually the one who started calling Donald Trump weird, which, again, I just don't see it. The late great Hannibal Lecter is a wonderful man. <laughs> totally normal here. <laughs> Another top candidate is Mark Kelly, AKA Senator Clean. This guy is a fighter pilot to an astronaut, which is extremely badass. I mean, how would Trump even attack this guy? Look at this Top Gun loser who <laughs> went to space. Oh, shit. <laughs> this guy would be so good against Vance at the VP debates. 
He'd be like, oh, you wrote a memoir about your hillbilly family? That's cool. I jacked off in space. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Plus, he's got an identical twin brother who's also an astronaut. Like, how cool is that? This is just like the Kelsey brothers if they stayed in school. <laughs> I mean, just think of all the crazy pranks they could pull. They could switch places, and now the other twin is the one doing absolutely nothing as VP. <laughs> but as of today, it looks like the front runner is Pennsylvania's Josh Shapiro. Uh, he's popular, he's the governor of a pivotal swing state, and I know I'm a foreigner who can't understand English, but just listen to this guy speak, because, I mean, is he, is he doing an Obama? You could not have a clear contrast in this race. You could not have a clear contrast between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. And let me tell you something, he's pretty afraid. Yo, see, he's, he's backing out of the debate now. He's afraid to stand toe to toe with our vice president. It's because he can't run away from his record any longer. Okay, that's not just me, right? Like, we all, we all hear that? Like, I, I was almost expecting him to be like, and that's why you should vote for me, Josh Hussein Shapiro. <laughs> It's like he's hyping himself up for politics by listening to Obama's old speeches and the cadence is like getting stuck in his head. I mean, I bet if I put a photo of Obama up on the screen, you would have no idea it was a Josh Shapiro speech. He knows what he's doing. He's got no guardrails around him anymore. And he's told us what he wants to do. What my Angelou's say, when someone tells you who they are, believe them. I mean, even the Maya Angelou reference is laying on a little thick. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Obama asked him for his birth certificate. I mean, <laughs> wait, are you me? Uh, uh, at this point, it could be smart for Harris to pick him. I mean, she could be like, hey, Trump, you think I'm pretending to be black? Well, check out my VP. <laughs> anyway, soon... Soon... Well, no, which one of these guys it is. And there were some other names thrown around, like Gretchen Whitmer or Wes Moore or Gina Raimondo, but there's just something about them that the news media doesn't think will work. It sure would help if there was a reassuring white guy who looked like all of our, most of our past presidents to help her out. She needs a Southern white male to balance out the ticket. She's going to need a white male. And I, if you can get one from a swing state, I think it's really important. I do wonder if it is inevitable that this is a white man summer as far as it, can, as it concerns Kamala Harris's running mate. I mean, that is so blunt. Uh, I mean, you know, at least be subtle about it. They should say, like, hey, if Kamala wants to win, she needs somebody who wears cargo shorts and can play Wonderwall on the guitar. And... <laughs> All right, there's some white guys. Uh, for more analysis on the importance of a balanced ticket, let's go live to the Harris campaign headquarters with Desi Lydic. <laughs> Desi. Desi. Does it have to be a white guy? I mean, why can't there be two women on the ticket? Whoa, 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 Ronnie, an all-female ticket? America couldn't even handle an all-female Ghostbusters. <laughs> no, no, this is not the time to push voters too far. Just pick a white guy. You, you can still have diversity. I mean, you got the backwoods white, the space white, the eggshell white, the medium beige white. It's a whole paint swatch book if you're painting your kitchen Caucasian. Oh, okay, <laughs> Desi, I don't think you're giving people enough credit. Okay. Uh, America elected Obama twice. Hillary won the popular vote, and I think America can handle two women on a ticket. Oh, Ronnie, you sweet, optimistic guy who can't vote here. <laughs> Look, I would love to have an all-woman ticket, but people would lose their minds. Oh, what if they sync up their periods with every woman in the country? <laughs> every month they'll be like the purge. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, but th doesn't this limit Harris's options? Well, perhaps, but a, a male VP benefits Kamala, too. She'll need a white man by her side in the situation room so that when she has an idea, he can repeat it louder a minute <laughs> later. <laughs> that way, the Joint Chiefs will actually hear it. You know, that that is a good point, Desi. I mean... 
Also, when she has an idea, he could repeat it louder a minute later so that the Joint Chiefs will actually hear it. Great point. This this all comes down to a political science theory known as the law of presidential genitals. See, when it comes to a campaign ticket in America, you can have a V on the top or you can have a V on the bottom, but you can't have the two coming together like this. You see, you just can't. You can't. Do you see what I'm doing, Ronnie? Do you understand? Because this is graduate level stuff. Yeah. Uh... I guess I do. Uh, I, I I just don't get why Americans have been okay to have like two two peas on one ticket like this. I mean, what about this? Oh no, Ronnie, you got to stop doing that. That looks like two dicks. No, this is serious. Oh, okay. okay? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You're right. There's a there's a lie, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>